Welcome to the top of this lovely wee hill in the Trossachs to review this, the MSR Elixir 2. I've had this tent for a couple of years now, so I'm going to do a kind of long-term appraisal of the tent. I see a lot of people asking about it online and things, so I absolutely love this tent. But let's run through a wee review of this belter of a tent. And I've just seen the moon pop out from behind the clouds. Rather beautiful. Okay, so this is the MSR Elixir 2, set up with just the inner. As you can see, it's a fairly freestanding unit, sort of solid enough. Um, you can use it just like this without pegging it out if there's not a particular wind. There's a tiny bit of a breeze tonight, but I could just sleep in there like this, but it's actually quite chilly, so I'm going to put the outer on. But I do sometimes take it out like this in peak summer when you just really need a kind of bug net more than anything else. If I know it's not going to rain and I'm just looking to get some protection from the midges and a wee bit of a breeze, I'll just take it out like this. Nice and lightweight, only weighs about a kilo if you just take the inner and the poles like this. But as you can see, nice and spacious. I have a uh, my roll mat here, if I pull it right to the edge, that's my roll mat up against the edge. Plenty of room for another person here. It's a, it's a comfortable two-person tent. I wouldn't say it was a spacious two-person tent. It's a luxurious one-person tent. I do very often use it on my own in winter. So it's nice to have a bit of space, somewhere to keep all your kit sort of hang about in on those long dark winter nights. Not a bad old view. I do use this tent all year round. It's not specifically a four season tent, but I do uh, I do use it as a four season tent. So you can just about get away with it if you pack up the edges with snow and all that and keep the wind out. So these lovely little lightweight, relatively robust pegs are the pegs that come with the tent. Nice and lightweight, MSR pegs. Great for this sort of slightly turfy terrain. Everything's colour coded, so the red pole goes into the red socket here. And the red clips for the inner. The grey pole, likewise, goes into the grey socket here for the inner and the clips. So it's nice and easy to put up. Goes up very quickly. Once you're practised, you can have this up in a couple of minutes, really. My advice is to peg out the inner, then apply the poles, and then you can move it about afterwards, but it makes life a lot easier if the inner is held in place as you put the poles in. But even like this, a couple of pegs in, it's fairly sturdy. I can sleep in that all night long. Okay, so this is the MSR Elixir 2 with the fly sheet on. Uh, nice wee clips, everything's colour coded. This does have a lower hydrostatic head than some other tents out there and that sometimes puts people off. But I believe that is because MSR use higher quality 
lighter weight materials in their tents. Um, so even though they technically have a lower hydrostatic head rating, they are actually just as waterproof, just as capable of standing up to the great British, and in my case, harsh Scottish winters. But I've had this out in all sorts of environments, lashing rain, wind, snow, all the rest of it, and it stood up to everything. So, cosy. Um, it's cosy, but there's plenty of room. As you can see, I've got my wee one person set up here. Plenty of room to the left for my rucksacks and gear, snacks, food, iPad, all the rest of it, depend what you bring. Also plenty of room for another person to lie side by side. If I'm camping with somebody who snores, I'll go top to toe because it can be quite snug. But you know, plenty of room for two people to squash in here. And the porch area, you get one each, your own door, so that's quite good. You've got your own entrance for popping in and out during the middle of the night. I tend to stay up a bit later than my pals sometimes and uh, go out for a, a wee toilet break at midnight and what have you. So it's great just having your own little, your own little porch. So it's quite a cozy place to be. Um, it's quite airy in here, which is quite good in the summer. Lots of air flowing through. Obviously in the winter, not ideal. So if you are using it as a four season tent, you do have to get snow, pad up all the edges and things, block as much wind from getting in as possible. I've had this in some pretty extreme winter conditions on the Cairngorm Plateau and it stood up just fine. Saying that, it is a bit breezy if you don't pad up all the outsides. I didn't tie this up properly, classic. I just flicked it out of the way. But it's a really good porch area. You can fit your rucksack, your boots, you can do a bit of cooking here. Like I say, you get your own porch each. One over there for your pal. Good big storage nets at the end. Little toggles for hanging your lights up or whatever. Really cracking tent just to kick back and enjoy the views. It's not quite freezing, but it can only be a few degrees above freezing, to be honest. But it's such a beautiful night out there. There's a temperature inversion going on, so the clouds are held low. So the glens are filled with like cloud and mist, and the moon has sprung out from behind the clouds and is lighting up the whole sky. And obviously the moon is bouncing over the top of the clouds. It's quite magical outside, to be honest. It's uh, one of the nicest views I've seen in a long time. And this is just a random hill, very close to Edinburgh. You can drive here in like an hour, but my God, it is stunning when you actually just get up here, have a wee camp, drink a beer, have a sandwich, look at the view. It's absolutely spectacular. <laughs> 